Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I wanted to share a useful tip with everyone, and this is particularly useful if you're using a uh, a 4K camcorder, but the same would be applicable to other cameras, night you know, full HD 1920 by 1080. But it's how to make still photos, high quality still photos from your video footage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro 10 that I have here. And I've got a video clip here that I recorded in Times Square in that big city up there called Manhattan, or actually New York City, you know, it's Manhattan. So I filmed this at Times Square. Now what I can do, I can create a project. So let's just make a test project in uh, Final Cut Pro, and we'll call it Test Project. Call it whatever you want to. So I'm going to drag this video down into, uh, into my project. So let's say that I wanted to get a thumbnail from this video. So it would be a thumbnail that would be representative of what's actually in the video. But let's just say like, uh, so there's a particular object or a particular person that I want to get. How about that bicycle? See the bicycle right there? So I want to get a thumbnail where this bicycle is right there in the middle of the Times Square frame. Oops. I'm going to put, I'm going to position this there. The next thing that you would do within Final Cut Pro 10 is go to File, go to Share, and if it's not already there, once you add it, it'll be there automatically, but do Add Destination. And what you're going to want to select, over here to the left, it'll say Add Destination. To the right, you're going to select Save Current Frame. So just double click, save current frame. And you get to pick your file format. I like JPEGs personally, so I'm going to choose JPEG image, but you could choose PNG, Photoshop, OpenEXR, JPEG, or DPX, or TIFF. But I want JPEG, so I'm going to choose JPEG. Once I've chosen JPEG, I hit the red X here. Now I go back to file and then I go to share now you can see within share it says save current frame so when I select save current frame what I can then do is in well and you can see it's got that bicycle right where I position the cursor and that's exactly what I wanted so I'll do next and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop so I'll call it uh, I'll just call it bike in middle and hit save and it says share successful save current frame was successful so I'm going to hit close now I'm going to hit escape I want to get to my desktop here or I can just hit the little green box however you choose to manipulate your interface but when we open this JPEG, we should see a very high quality, since I filmed this particular video in full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution, we should see a very high quality still image from that video. And that's exactly what we've got. So you got the bicycle, that was what I wanted in the middle of the frame. Now I can go in with this high quality 1920 by 1080 image and I can add text to make it a really cool thumbnail for a YouTube video. And likewise, if you're doing an ultra high definition, you would have even a higher quality image. So just a cool tip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Irish Guys Adventure Channel, youtube.com forward slash Guy, and enjoy all my Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial videos. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.